This is definitely one for history books, y'all. mad at me right now. I'm shutting down the city of New Jersey. I'm shutting it down. They mad at me. They mad at me. We got to get onto this left lane right here. We got we to gotta take this whole negative up right now. So I can't move until we take the whole negative up. So we got to let all this traffic clear. I got my pilot car up there. He's blocking the head. And I got to get all the way into the negative and then go all the way up. So they can beat their horn at me all day. I'm not moving. I, I mean, it's oversized, man. You know what it is. Boom. I know we just paused the video, right? I know you're like, man, come on, we want to get straight to it. Thank you guys for tuning into the video in the first place, but I wanted to go and share with you. I didn't record all of New Jersey. I was underneath so much stress. I wasn't able to record everything that I wanted to record. I have a whole new camera system that I'm bringing to the table for you guys. I'm, I, I really want you guys to start enjoying the videos a lot more and get every angle that you possibly can get. So I got four GoPros that I've ordered with four external battery packs, and I'm gonna be trying that out in my next couple videos. That was New Jersey, and now we're gonna get straight to it, straight to the action, because at the end of the day, it could have been a lot worse, and I share my mistakes with you guys so that way you guys do not have to create the same mistakes that I create for myself. Me and my dad got a small company and all the stuff that we're gonna, we're gonna have to learn all this stuff on our own. You know, when you get to a big company, you're a company driver, you don't have to go through that stuff because they already did it for you. They already laid it out for you. They already got the blueprint for you. All you gotta do is follow instructions. At the end of the day, nothing was damaged. The load wasn't damaged. My truck wasn't damaged. The trailer wasn't damaged. And I didn't damage anything on the road, any property, anything like that. So enjoy the video. We're getting straight to it right now.
All right, man, so I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, be calm right now, but I'm not in the best of spirits. And I'll be completely transparent with you guys. Stuff like this could be career ending in a sense, because I mean, if the toll bill, you know, you know, I'd be hearing these crazy stories about the toll bill being $20,000, man. Like, I mean, look at my whole chat. My whole chat, she's bent to the side. You know, bills like these can be expensive as shit. This guy right here wasn't even coming to help me. I thought he was coming to help me. He's not even coming to help me. This guy was coming up here for another job, but then I guess he heard it on the radio. Hey man, going to check up on this, this trailer that's up on the mountain. And he was like, oh, let me come run up here. And sure enough, here I am. So when I tell you guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, man. My stomach is tight because you know, it's just, I've never been in a situation like this before. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get out of it. But stuff like this can be game. It, it can be, it can end you. I'm not gonna lie to you, it can end you, especially if the bill is, like I said, 20 grand. And he just said it might take two of them because what they're gonna probably try to do is grab me from the back end, pull me this way, and then tug me forward because I'm still on the concrete right here. I'm still on the concrete. I'm not in the best mood, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not in the best mood. He just yeah, he just told me that. He said he was coming to come help him out. Yeah. He's not even for us. He was coming to help yeah. him out. There's a, there's a coal truck upside down. He's got to move with us. Well, maybe he has to go it's about 40 minutes. No, nah, no, nah, he said there. they're gonna stop doing helping that to come help me because he can't come up there. Right. He's, like he said, 40 minutes to go back around. So he's yeah. telling the radio that the police officer was telling him we might have to call that guy to come down and come help to move me up and then go help them. Ooh, I knew this was going to be tight. I just didn't think it was going to be that tight because I've made it before. Yeah. And last time when I made it, I was about. You weren't there heavy though. Right? No, it's not. It's not about the weight. It's about the length. The length. I was. Um. I was stretched out to 52. This is 60. It's only adding eight more feet. Yeah. yeah I'm thinking. And when I was when I was at 52, I was my my um back tire was probably like right, maybe right here when I got done. I just I thought. I mean, look how far I am in there. Been monster I thought about that, but then if you see that ditch over there, especially that ditch right here, it's like, nah, you don't want to, you know what I mean? What I should have did was, I should have brought you up here, said, come get in front of me, while he go all the way down there, and have you watch, like, just watch the ditch for me. I should have I should have stopped and took the time, but I was trying to power through it, because I felt like, yeah, I'm going to bottom out right here. And then when you told me to stop, I actually wasn't, I was close to the rail, but it was those... If those Brent, those uh, logs weren't there, we probably could have made it. Because yeah, I had to stop because the logs, I had to go move the logs. Up, the back of the trunk just don't move. That's when I was like, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. And then it caught that damn rail. That's what stopped Yeah, my next trailer, man, whenever I get the money to do it, it's terrible. Yeah. I don't want to go through this again, man. I mean, they, they should know you better than me. You couldn't, you couldn't let it back down the hill? No, I tried. Yeah. I tried. Actually, we were going back. But because of the angle, I couldn't get it to turn right in that ditches right there. Up right there yeah, I locked up.
Yeah, he was showing us all those pictures. I bet he got some gruesome pictures in his phone. They got a wreck a while back, and uh, a bear made him take, or not a bear, the law made him take his truck from the Hotnall City lot, and her car put it in with their stop because there was a body in them. Mm -hmm. They couldn't leave their body until they found the kid. Damn! He, uh, got him and his wife was getting a divorce. Who, him? Not him. Okay. Dude and his wife was getting a divorce. And, uh, he went and took his head off. He tied, he put a rope, tied a rope to his telephone pole, and put it through the back of window. Mm -hmm. And they found the head under the tail or under the headrest and tied it around his neck in Florida and went in the creek or in, in the river and said, uh, "Damn." About is the bill. Um, only I'm gonna be concerned about man I mean there's nothing else I can really do about that it is what it is and it's gonna be a bill from two separate companies I'm gonna probably tell them to put it all on one bill and then they're gonna pay they're gonna charge or they're gonna pay them um, that portion that portion of the bill so hopefully it's not too expensive hopefully it's not nothing that's gonna you know what I mean uh, rather me up because I mean, we're so far, I mean, at the end of the day, we all know the real, real, real realism or the reality of trucking right now, man. Um, a lot of people are going out of business, a lot of major companies. And an incident like this, man, and your pockets aren't deep like they used to be, could be it, can, it can send you down a drain. And I'm not lying to you guys when I say my pockets ain't deep no more. They're not. They're really not. Um, I think I'm going to be okay. I mean, matter of fact, I know I'm going to be okay. But it's going to set me back a lot because I was working... I was working my way. I was working my. I was working my way out of a lot of things, you know. Um, and it's, it's 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 something that I can't control right now. It's the industry, you know. You got people trying to lowball you. They don't understand the cost of this stuff. They don't understand that this stuff costs money. Okay, this stuff costs money to do. Now, luckily, um, I got a really really good rate for this. I, I mean, this, this this should really cover everything that we got going on, even this mishap. But these are things that people don't understand. This is the risk that we charge. We charge the liability, the risk, because you got to think, I got your big old load or product on the road, and if something happens, anything can happen out there where we get stuck or anything happens, and I have to be able to flip the bill for this tow, for these for these tow trucks. You know what I mean? Um, people don't, people don't, they don't, they don't put that into the equation. They don't. And I know I told myself this whole entire week, I needed to get a video, I needed to get a video done for you guys, and I was hoping it wasn't going to be this video, but unfortunately it is this video. But um, we're gonna get through this, man. And I just want to say I thank you everybody who's supporting me and um, you know helping me still be me. You know, still trucking, still posting videos, and you know, encourage me to post videos. I wanted you guys to get a great video this week, but unfortunately, this is what you got. <laughs> um, and I know that this is probably gonna get a lot of views, but because people like drama, you know, people like the drama stuff. But you know, it is what it is. So hold on. Yeah, there's a whole nother accident down the road. You know what I mean? So it's. It's, 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 it's stressful. When I say I'm stressed, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I just want this video to show people that basically, man, if you get a hydraulic neck, go get a hydraulic neck. Not a mechanical. Okay, not a mechanical. But this is the real world of a truck driver. This is, this is what really goes on out here. This is really what can happen. You know? Thank God. The only good thing is my truck's not damaged. My trailer's not damaged. The load is not damaged. Nobody got into it. Nobody got hurt. No, no cars were involved. Nobody else was involved. Everything is good right now. So, only thing is, the problem is, is that I got to get up this hill. And then we got more turns to go through. And then I got to worry about how much this bill is going to be once they get done. Shit, just when I thought it was over, right? We move, we get to another section. Stuck again. Not only are we stuck on the rock. Now, good thing is, he said he didn't care about these damn pipes. But, sheesh, man. Sheesh. I mean, we can't catch a break. We can't catch a goddamn break. 
Oh, snap. Same thing. He's gonna have to tug it around the corner. Barely touching it, barely touching it. So these guys knew that this was gonna happen, so they stayed with me. They said, we're not gonna leave you on the mountain. They knew that this was gonna happen. That's why they stayed with me, man. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm, 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 I'm terrified what this tow bill is gonna be. I'm terrified of what it's gonna be. I mean, I owe these guys a cup of coffee. I owe them some lunch. And pray to God they don't, they don't rate me with a fucking tow bill. I mean, this is, this is insane. I mean, look how deep, look how high up my trailer is off the ground. You know what I mean? I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, it can't get any worse than this, man. I thank him and thank him for just an excellent job that they're doing. You know, just being real cool people, helping me out because they didn't have to do this. I mean, look how deep, look how far down we are. Look how far down we are. Oh, that's a drop. It doesn't look like it in the video, but that's a drop. The road goes all the way down there. And they said this is not the only one. We got a couple more turns. We got a couple more turns to get through. They're moving it right now. They're moving it back onto the road. No, nah, some people some people let you pay later, man. They'll send you a bill. They do. So a lot of people turned it down. bad tire right now if you go down any further it ain't got nothing to hold that weight and that mother might roll over in that dick bro because you right at the bottom right before it just bottom all the way out if you go up a little bit more further it ain't got nothing for the wheels to roll on and the chains already on side of the rail turn number three this one's worse because it's actually got a drop off right here. So they're going to have to pull me back up and get me up there. I fucked up, guys. I fucked up. I got the permits to come through here, but I fucked up. I shouldn't have came through West Virginia. I fucked up. I really, really fucked up. I fucked up. Feel tight, shot feel tight.
okay. Hey, counting these commas, we run it up. All of these hoes, they won't come with us. Sipping that dirty, she getting real sloppy. Staying high, now she living the dreams. On her pants with Magello on me. Jolly Ranchers miss it up with the link. Johnny Dang, all my diamonds on fleek. Pop me a perk, and she think I'm a geek. Hot in the land, why you looking at me? Counting this money, you ain't on my team. Setting the plot, we running through schemes. Hundreds on hundreds on hundreds, I want me a milli. I ain't gonna stop till I'm rich. Getting this money like money, Mitch. Promise again that I never switch. Yeah.